Hi everybody, it's Susie and welcome to a Vintage Design Studio. Um, I'd like to share with you today another project that I have for Wild Orchid Crafts, Wild Bunch. And what I have here is this very pretty altered box. I love altering boxes. I have a lot of occasions coming up between now and September, all the way through December, birthdays, anniversaries, some parties. And um, this one is for a very special friend. I'd like to share it with you. Um, this is a paper mache box and I glued some of these legs to the bottom and I painted this box in uh, Rich Espresso and this is the paint that I used. It's a beautiful, beautiful color that has a really nice metallic finish. Okay, um, the inside of the box was painted as well. Nothing fancy around there, just around the top I use um, my own lace from my stash. The ribbons are from my stash and just getting to the main part which is the top of the box. It's so beautiful. I use the Wild Orchid Crafts uh, light pink trellis roses, some of the range roses in different sizes and some of the curly roses. All of the colors and uh, names of the flowers and item numbers will be in the drop down box below here. Um, there's also some of my favorite calla lilies in here of course and the shooting pearls right here just beautiful a stick pin that I made and um, I have a, a lot of uh, stray pearls that are stranded all around from my stash um, as you can see I have some in a bottle here and that is my uh, set of pearls that it's in combination of white ivory light pink and a very very pale pale blue um, just beautiful. I love the way it came out. I'm just going to zoom up on that quickly for you so that you can see how gorgeous these flowers are. I mean, they are outstanding. There are my bows. I've been making bows for a really long time, and I, I think that I'm pretty good at making the bows. I have a lot of people um, liking the way that I do that. And if you have problems making bows, let me know if you're um, interested in a bow tutorial, just like a short one. But look at those gorgeous roses. Even the curly ones, those are one of my favorites. And that's an ivory color also. And the, the small roses are a pink color. Just absolutely outstanding. And I hope that's not too close because I'm using the zoom lens. And I know some people have complained about my being too close. Um, and I think that's going to get a little bit better. I had to have my eyes checked, guys. Okay, so um, I'm using a tripod here and I'm hoping that... Um, the camera's not shaking at all because I keep moving it um, to make sure that it's stable. So, yep, these are the flowers that I use. I just love the way that it came out. Really pretty. These little um, bottom knobs are, are wooden, and I just painted those and glued them on with my hot glue gun. All of this was uh, hot glued. Very, very pretty. And the lace is like um, a pale beige ivory kind of color, and I just love it. So, happy birthday to my dear friend, and um, I hope that you like this. Um, I will probably find out once she receives it, because I'm going to be sending it to her. I don't know if she's going to see this video or not, but hopefully she doesn't receive it until she gets it in the mail. I just love that. Look at those flowers, even from the side. Look at it from the top. It just stands up so beautifully. From any angle, it's just beautiful. I love Wild Orchid Craft flowers. Um, you can use them for any kind of home decor, altering project, parties, anything really. Um, and I'm so happy that you tuned in today uh, to see my project. If you'd like to see still life photos of this and more, you can go to suzycrafter10.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook under Suzy Crafter. If you go to my blog, you can click on any of those. Plus, um, I'm also on Twitter. You can uh, get all of those links from my blog just by clicking on the photo. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope everyone had a great Labor Day weekend. Bye.